My talk will be about what's next for the gas station network. And I am uh, Laraz Siri, the CEO of uh, Tabuki. And the problems that we're working on uh, are removing roadblocks to the uh, mass adoption of decentralized finance. And uh, the gas station network is an important part of that. So uh, when do we get to mass adoption? Um, we think that we're going to have to figure out how do we create the type of uh, familiar experiences uh, that provide the ease of use of Web2, but um, if we're going to be putting um, life savings um, of people at risk, then um, we also have to make it secure. And it's best if we figure out uh, how to do that in a way that doesn't compromise on the decentralized security of Web3. So we want to get to Web3, but with an experience that's very familiar and it's sort of a, you don't really have to know what's going on um, uh, behind the, the scenes. Um, so the next step is uh, clearing the path to mass adoption. And um, we have like three, uh, three phases for this. The first one, creating the gas station network, essentially um, allows users to interact with the Ethereum blockchain uh, without needing um, to, uh, to worry about having to pay gas for transactions. We abstract that away. So it's like we're creating this toll-free road uh, for Ethereum. And this is something we deployed uh, live on mainnet. Uh, but it right now requires support of GSN, uh, the support of the, the, like the GSN more logic inside the contract that uh, it wants to benefit from the GSN. So the next step, which hopefully I'll have uh, time to, to demo quickly here, is the GSN sponsor model that allows us to extend this toll-free road um, so it can interact with any contract, in, including contracts that have already been deployed, um, which, which are you know, the big contracts uh, right now that um, um, are getting uh, uh, some usage, like the MakerDAO contracts. Um, otherwise, if we don't figure out how to do this, then adoption for this new standard would be uh, dramatically slowed down, because we would have to wait until everybody redeploys their contracts. Now, what's interesting is that um, we figured out how to extend uh, the GSN to existing contracts in a way that also allows us to solve um, the, one of the cybersecurity issues that are also roadblock to mass adoption. So right now, if you want to benefit from decentralization, you need to deal with the complications of not only having to pay for gas, but also understanding key management and worrying about the uh, security of your devices. Um, and we think it's possible to create a new standard where that is not a concern. Um, and we have, we have this uh, uh, as a working POC right now that's going um, through security validation. And the goal is to uh, establish like a wide, a wide alliance of support um, so everyone can benefit from this. And you don't have to be like a crypto nerd or a cybersecurity expert to use all this stuff. So essentially, you know, the, the, the users in, in the system we're creating, they're interacting directly with a gas station network. And then they're being routed. Uh, their, their gas fees are being paid for um, through GSN sponsors. Uh, this could be infrastructure providers like Infura uh, that now get to monetize all their traffic. It could be uh, wallet providers. Um, or it could be uh, smart contract uh, protocols um, like MakerDAO. And the demo I'll be showing uh, will be a collaboration that we have with MakerDAO that allows uh, gas to be paid in DAI. And this would work in principle with any token that has a Uniswap uh, ETH, uh, ETH trading pair. So then. Um, what, like you're routing through the GSN, um, and then the, the, the sponsors are paying for the gas, um, and you, they, they might be charging you in fiat. And to get this to work, you have to represent the user on chain somehow. This is where uh, the sponsored user vehicles come in. Essentially, uh, we're, we're, we're putting like everybody uh, on this toll-free road um, by creating this proxy account for them that uh, they interact. Um, 
they interact with everything else, every other uh, contract, and there's an opportunity there to introduce some, some neat features. So the gas station network is done, and the sponsor user vehicles are something that we're working on. So just a quick recap. Uh, DAP onboarding was, uh, was a mess before the gas station network. I mean, it took us a month to KYC, uh, um, uh, link our bank account to an exchange, and get, get ETH to pay for the first transaction. And many users that would be a good fit for the ecosystem don't even have a bank account. So if we're talking about un like banking in the unbanked, that's a major roadblock. Uh, many parts of the world, uh, people don't have access to bank accounts, so it would be hard for them to get ETH. So the gas station network, it's, it's very direct. Essentially, it's a web, it could be a web two experience. You don't even, if you don't need uh, ETH, you don't need a wallet. Um, and um, this is something that is now working live on mainnet. Um, and uh, our partners have helped us uh, uh, get to that point. So the Ethereum Foundation, ConsenSys, uh, MakerDAO provided grants, uh, Open Zeppelin have done security auditing, uh, Portis have done a lot of uh, the UX work, and we have uh, these great demos with, with Burner Wallet, uh, thanks to Austin uh, Griffith. So um, quickly running out of time here. So with the gas station network, instead of interacting directly with Ethereum, you would be interacting with relays that then route uh, to GSN aware contracts. But then that limits you only to contracts that have support for this. So the next step is uh, baking all of the, the logic for uh, working with the GSN into a separate uh, GSN sponsor contract. And then this contract uh, can route your request to any contract. Um, but because the user is not actually uh, represented on chain at the other way, like they, they don't necessarily even have a wallet, then you need to create an on chain uh, representation for them, uh, which is the, the user vehicle that I've been speaking with, uh, just to keep with the road metaphor. Uh, and, there, and then there, that's, that's uh, an opportunity. So uh, the GSN sponsor, it allows us to create business models for wallets and infrastructure providers that are currently uh, maybe are trying to figure out their options. And essentially, this is a way of allowing uh, wallets uh, to charge a small transaction fee in a way that actually adds value. So you could do something like sell your users uh, $5 worth of gas for uh, like $6, right? And you don't even have to KYC and AML them because you're not sending them ETH. You're just paying for their gas behind the scenes. Uh, so that should make it a lot, a lot easier. Uh, and the dApps can decide to subsidize their users as part of the onboarding costs. So that's also an option. And what's nice is this also solves uh, a key problem in getting decentralized privacy mixers to work. Um, and uh, you, know, you have the problem, how do you withdraw from a decentralized privacy mixer if you don't have an ETH? So it looks like uh, we have time for a quick demo. And this is a collaboration with MakerDAO. And essentially, uh, changing the MakerDAO contracts is, is too hard. But if we bake all the logic, um, for, uh, for paying uh, for the gas in, in, uh, in, not in, e in DAI, for example, we don't have to change the contracts. So you, know, you, want, you might want to do this because it's inconvenient to have to maintain a separate balance in, in, uh, in ETH. If you already have DAI and you have Uniswap uh, support uh, for it, why not just uh, figure out a way to uh, take care of that, which is what we've done. So essentially, uh, you have this uh, specialized DAI sponsor and you're committing to paying for your gas uh, in, in, in DAI, and it takes your DAI and it swaps it out for ETH, it pays for the transaction and gives you the remainder. And I think I have exactly time to do a demo. Hopefully this works. It's just not, uh, not a given. All right. So this is an Etherless uh, wallet um, demo. It is, uh, right now I'm going to be doing this on Rinkeby because it's going to be very hard to do this uh, on mainnet right now with the demand uh, on chain. So there, there's no ETH here. There's no, no tokens. It's just a signing account. And oh, we wouldn't necessarily even need MetaMask to do the signing. Uh, we could bake the logic into some other part of the application. But this is convenient uh, for demo purposes. And then um, I'm going to be transferring to this other wallet, so which also doesn't have ETH. And I'm going to be transferring one bot, one basic attention token. OK, um, so one bat. And the fees will be paid for in DAI. So this is a real transaction right now on the Rinkeby testnet. 
MetaMask asks me to sign the transaction. I don't have any ETH, so it's just a signing function. Already ran out of time. And I won't wait for this to mine. Um, I'll show you what this looks like when it is mined. So essentially, the transaction is not coming from the user, because the user is not, doesn't even necessarily have anything on chain. It's actually coming from one of the GSN relays. Uh, and then that's being routed to another part of the, the Relay Hub contract, which is part of the GSN. Then um, if you see down below here, then the user is paying uh, for, the, uh, for the gas, like sending the G GSN DAI sponsor $1.4 as a maximum gas prepayment. And we actually transfer the bots. And then it turns out the transaction was a lot cheaper. It just cost uh, 9 cents. So we have, like, charge a transaction fee. We give the user $1.29 back. Um, and we swap out 15 cents for ETH to, to pay all the participants in the system. And that's it. Like, it just, it just works. And maybe, yeah, the transfer was complete. And we have a transaction. Um, and the transaction, uh, no ETH was involved. Everything was paid for in DAI. And imagine we could just do this from a browser. Um, so, yeah. Thank you.